all right so now that we have visual studio code set up and it is salesforce ready to create projects and do local development let's first of all start with creating a project right so let's look at project creation in vs code so the shortcut to access sfdx commands is command shift p or it is control shift p on a windows machine and if you see if i start typing sfdx i see some commands coming up right here right and if you simply type create project you should also see some options coming up here so we'll go ahead and create a project with manifest this will create a package.xml for us which we'll uh, look into a bit later but this will create a local project repository folder with all the relevant information and metadata in it so i'll just click on create project with manif manifest and this asks me what kind of template do you want so we'll just go with the standard template which is the default template that vs code provides it asks for a project name now here i'll just give it a random name i'll call it my first vs code project and i'll say enter now when i do that it asks me where do i want to store my project so let me go ahead and do that on my desktop i'll just create a new folder and i'll say practice repositories and this is the folder I choose and I'll say create project. Now when I do that, initially there are some permissions that Visual Studio Code will want to access. I'll just say OK and I'll say yes, I trust the authors. Now when I do that, my project if you see here has been successfully created. Now if I were to go to my desktop, I should see something that's called practice repositories and inside which I would have my Salesforce project. So this is my first Salesforce project that I've created from VS Code. Right. This right now would be pretty much an empty folder. If you take a look at the force app main default section, I would see all my metadata folders are here, but they would be pretty much empty because there's no metadata available for any org or any kind of source control. Right. So this is the standard template or default package that uh, VS Code creates when we use the SFDX command to create project with manifest. Now, when we say with manifest, this folder right here is what it is me meant about. And if you see there's something that's called package.xml which we'll take a look at in a while right so now that we have an empty folder this is our project and it has been created successfully in our local repositories